Joe Davis in Los Angeles. John Smoltz in Atlanta. Ken Rosenthal gets to actually be in the ballpark in New York. You know, it's starting to feel a little bit like last year, John, in that the Yankees lose a couple big-name players, Stanton and Judge, both down to injuries this week. They find guys to plug in, and they just keep on rolling. They do. Their roster has a lot of depth. They, they do. Their roster has a lot of depth. They love playing at home, as you mentioned. They're built around home. But without their two stars in the lineup, don't forget, they've got players like Talkman, Frazier, Ford that just step in, and they did that all last year. I don't think they want to even tempt that this year. They hoping, they're hoping that the injuries are going to be short-lived, but the Yankees are loaded. Yeah, it took first game of this series 10-3, and as far as the Red Sox go, John, the biggest issue has been the pitching. One guy they've been able to rely on in the starting rotation, though, their opening day starter, Nathan Evaldi, goes tonight. Yeah, Nathan Evaldi, of course, we know what he did in the postseason for the Red Sox, but he also has dominated the New York Yankees in his last four games, basically unbeatable. I thought the the Red Sox, if they had a chance this year to compete, it would be in the 60-game schedule and wouldn't expose their pitching. Unfortunately, that has not been the case. So their best chance of winning and ending a skid is with Nathan Evaldi on the mound tonight. Yeah, they knew there may be some issues with the pitching. They figured that they would get plenty of offense. They haven't gotten that either, though. So J.D. and Bogarts and the crew trying to get things going offensively while the Yankees look to keep on rolling. Better than seven runs per game for the Yankees against Boston so far. First pitch on Baseball Night in America coming up on Fox. Baldy tonight. Kevin Pillar leads things off, and then it's Rafael Devers. J.D. Martinez, D.H. in hitting third, trying to bounce back from an 0 for 4, four strikeout game last night. Xander Bogarts, the all-star shortstop. It's cleanup with Christian Vasquez doing the catching out of the five spot. Alex Verdugo, part of the return in the Mookie Betts deal from Los Angeles. At first base, it's Michael Chavis. Center fielder is Jackie Bradley Jr. and Jose Peraza. After getting last night off, starts at second base and hits ninth. They face off with James Paxton, who had that lower back surgery early on in February. Started to ease his way back from that. Really struggled his first couple games, giving up eight runs in four innings. But Sunday against Tampa Bay, John, by far his best game so far. Yeah, he's looking to uh, build up not only his arm strength, but get a little more velocity behind it. You know, when you recover from back surgery and you have the unique situation that the Yankees did to get healthy, it still takes time for Paxton to return to last year's form. He was basically unbeatable the last 13, 14 starts. So look for him to establish his fastball, cutter, and he's got a curveball. But no stand either. Talkman is in left, Gardner in center, and Clint Frazier back up from the alternate site. Starts in right field. The infield looks like this. Urshela really good at third. Torres has had his struggles at short. His first season playing there full time. Three time Gold Glover DJ LeMahieu is at second. Luke Voigt at first, and Gary Sanchez doing the catching for Paxton. The Yankees seven and zero at Yankee Stadium this season. Sheen staff so far, and his last time out, John against Toronto, a career high ten Ks. Yeah, he's in great shape, and he's rebounding off of a really an injury-plagued career. He's going to have a lot of fastballs, cutters coming at you, and then he'll mix up his off-speed with splitters and curveballs. And the lineup that he'll face off with here on this Saturday night, D.J. LeMay, who leads it off, and then it's Luke Voigt and Mike Ford getting an opportunity to hit third. Urshela, Torres, and Talkman through the middle third of the lineup. Sanchez is homered in back-to-back games. Frazier hitting eighth and right, and Brett Gardner, who's been slumping lately, is the center fielder batting ninth. John, you said it. Uh, start-